In today's video, we're gonna go over my full day of eating. On this channel, I've done a variety of full days of eating. Some have been big, some have been really big. But my diet has changed quite a bit now. I'm following a slightly different approach, but it is enabling me to see more results than I've ever seen in my entire life. And today you're gonna to see all of the little tips, all of the little secrets I do to make sure that I am getting in the best possible shape for summer 2024. So sit back, relax, this is gonna be a movie, and enjoy. Let's get the day started. Here he is, back in front of a camera. It's been a minute, you know? I don't know why I can't seem to stick to a consistent YouTube regime. But I want to because I enjoy YouTube, it's where everything started, it's just what I enjoy doing. Um, today we're going to make meal one. This is the staple meal, the Lucas Steel Special. You might have seen it. If you have a meal on Instagram or TikTok, you might have seen it already. Um, I'll plug them though. There, there. If you want to, you know, add to the support, I guess. Uh, but I want to make meal one and this is what I'm having at the moment almost every single day. Now meal one consists of the exact same thing every single day. We have our standard six eggs. Eggs have been the greatest thing that has ever happened to me recently. Uh, having five, six, seven eggs even. The amount of energy, the quality of food that you're eating, you're getting practically all of your nutritional value from eggs. It's insane. Coupled with that, we also have our 100 grams of oats smoothie with peanut butter, 50 grams, and two bananas. This is so good, so healthy. The bananas make it sweet, so it's really enjoyable to drink. And this is a staple, staple meal that I'll have every single day, pre-workout, regardless of whether I'm bulking or cutting. This has to be in there, as it's one of the most quality meals you could possibly have. But one thing I haven't really shared on social media too much is how much my diet has changed. So some of you will not know that I recently turned 21, uh, 16th of March, this was a while ago now. But after my birthday, I made a pact. I was like, right, I am not going to eat shit. I'm gonna completely change my diet around because I just wanna feel good. And I kind of did it from a point of, not that I really needed to, because actually to get gains, you don't need to kind of conform to this whole, ah, oh, strict healthy dieting you don't need to do that you can actually do you can actually eat like shit and still look pretty good but i wanted to prove a point i wanted to be like right everybody complains that eating clean is hard i'm going to prove to you it's not hard because i'm going to do it and for the date today is the 11th right and i have been clean i haven't that sounds like i've been on oh shit ton of drugs i've not been on drugs but i've been clean in the sense that i've not eaten a single crap food and I feel really, really good. And I'm eating whole foods, nothing processed, nothing bullshit. I've been super, super good. And I really want to document how that kind of feels. There are times where I'm craving chocolate, I can't lie. And I over it was mad hard. I went back home to London and I was seeing everybody in my family eating Easter eggs. And I swear to God, one time I actually picked up an Easter egg and just like sniffed it. And then I put it back in the box because I knew I couldn't eat it. But my point is, I didn't do it. And I want to kind of document how long I can do this for because maybe I'll break, maybe I won't, but it is really a game of will, of will, it is really a game of uh, willpower, so it'll be quite cool to document. Anyway, enough waffling. <laughs> okay, just got back from the gym and having my post-workout meal now. This meal is so good. It's so good, especially if you're trying to like cut weight and stuff. It's like eating a dessert. It's kind of sick. So in this bowl here, 200 grams of Greek yogurt. 50 grams of peanut butter, a um, couple of bananas, a couple of blues, a couple of choc chips. Oh, it's so good. Best thing to do as well, like one of the best hacks, is like prepare it before, put it in the freezer. No, yeah, put it in the freezer for like 10 minutes if you've got a rush, or if you can, leave it in the fridge for like a good three, four hours because it like proper gets viscous. It's just like so good. And then finally, we prepared the last meal before bed, which as you can see is just some sweet potato some tuna and a couple of eggs. Okay, so that's a wrap of the full day of eating. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, drop a comment, drop a little subscribe as well because more videos are coming out here. I'm in a new flat, which is why the background looks a little bit different. So expect to see 
plenty more videos coming out soon. See you in the next one. Peace.